Good morning from Nassau, Bahamas, where we are now waiting to see Spidey. Good morning, Alandi. Who are you waiting to see? And what are you going to say to him? <laughs> yeah. Back to the room to get a landy in the right shoes. He forgot to put on his black Crocs before we met up with Spidey, but we're gonna get his Crocs on and go get some breakfast. And look what we see here, Independence of the Seas. Followed us to Nassau, or maybe we followed it, who knows. Heading over to Marceline Market for the first time since we've been aboard the Disney Wish. Yeah, there's no Finding Nemo too. There was just Finding Dory. Remember here, Landon? Yes, we checked here. Careful, careful, son. Mom, did it remember why I said I'm behind you? Oh, Bing Bong. Where did they go? They're heading to Marceline Market. Marceline Market. Look at the decor. Gorgeous. A little history behind Marceline Market. It's named Marceline Market because Marceline, Missouri is one of the places Walt Disney spent his childhood. Nope, you have a bagel in your hand right now. Do you want a bagel tomorrow? Wash your hands. Wash your hands. What did you get for breakfast? Can you tell the people? Mickey waffles. And fruit loops. And some chocolate. That free milk. Okay, sounds good. All right, I'm going to go get breakfast with your brother now, okay? So you guys know it is harder to record when my mom is not here because we have to sort of take shifts with who goes to get what for the boys. So we have gotten our breakfast. I did not yet record all the breakfast stations, but I will make an effort to show you what we had to choose from today. But you will now see what we did choose today. And it's really different in here, not like Cabana's. I don't know what exactly it is. How to put my finger on it, but um, it's nice. I like it. And I mean, I do like Cabana's too, so I don't want that to sound wrong. But uh, Marceline Market is a different feel. So come on over to the Disney Wish and find out for yourself. So here's what we chose this morning. I'm still waiting for an omelet made to order because you know I love made to order omelets on my cruises. But here's what we chose. AJ finished his cereal, or at least most of it. There's still some fruit loops in the bag. Landon finished his fruit loops. And he's eating his Mickey waffles. Finished his chocolate milk. Daddy's having some hash browns and things on the side while he waits for his omelet. And I have fruit 
and bacon, tea and juice. We all have juice. While we wait for my omelet as well. I went and got some Mickey waffles and croissants to go alongside my omelet. How's your Mickey waffle, Landon? It's good. I got strawberries to go on top of mine with the syrup. You know, one of the things I realized is we thought that the ship would be a little emptier in Nassau, but it took us quite a while to find a table, like very long, and that I did not expect. So it's, I think it's also the new layout. It's, it's a lot of different things. Most people don't really want to go out into Nassau because they've been there many times. We've been there many times. Or people are trying to eat and then get to Nassau. Yeah, but I think most people who have excursions are probably out there already. But that was a little annoying, a little concerning, and different. Um, a different experience than I've recently had cruising. Um, I don't think it's ever taken me this long to find a table. Sure, thank you. How's the egg, Al? This is delicious. Okay. I like onion, peppers, coffee? potatoes, vegetables, salmon. Oh. Cool. So you have salmon and vegetables, and I have ham, peppers, cheese, and uh, spinach. So the family sitting next to us pointed out something behind us. This is so cute. The little girl's name is Remy, so they had stopped to look at it. But look at the little Remy chef hat. My first chef's hat, Remy. And ratatouille recipe. Really cute. Just like Disney for these details. to edge because we realized this cruise he's been wanting to get out of the ocean air club earlier than usual i mean we picked him up late the first night but then yesterday he spent much of the day with us so he's kind of in between ages now he's aging out of the ocean air club and into edge where's landon there's landon we're probably just gonna sit out here on the balcony have some coffee probably alan and i Mr. Landon has wanted to be in the room watching Mickey cartoons. Well, look what place I got with Chick Hicks. I got third. Oh, cool. But I don't like that you're being Chick Hicks. Be lightning. The Blue Lagoon Island boat is heading on out to its excursion. What do you have there? Hello. <laughs> so you went up to where'd you get that? Marceline Market. Okay, I'm about to go take a walk. What's up? Let's go take a look. It's, and it's mad empty up there too. It's empty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because folks should be in Nassau. But as we saw this morning for breakfast. Today for Marceline Market for breakfast, the food was good. Don't get me wrong, food was good and the selections were great. But it was so hard to find a seat because people were crowding Marceline Market, okay? Nobody seems to be getting off in Nassau. I know we're not, but she, she was crowded. Anyway, um, I don't know what it would have looked like yesterday on a sea day. But I'm going to head up and get me some lunch. Today is a Marceline Market day for us. It took us until day three to try it. And now we're back, or I'm back, for lunch. So again, coming into the Marceline Market, the first section that I see is the chef's counter from the entrance near our room, which is the forward entrance. Thank you so much. That's good. There are charcuterie boards here. Hello. May I have a charcuterie board, please? I know, just this. Thank you. Thank you so much. 
Thank you. Oh, hi, Richard. Good. Rich and Jazz, you recognize him? <laughs> yes. Good to see you. Yes. Oh, thank you so much. So, I've just been walking and not even stopping to show you guys, but look at this, the grilled shrimp, Cajun spice chicken tenders, there are different types of salad. The first thing I saw that I wanted was the charcuterie board station, but there's so much more. Lots of desserts. Hello. Yes, please. May I have some of the shrimp and the claws, crab claws? Claws and shrimp. Yes. Thank you. Oh, there's calamari here too. A little calamari as well. Alright guys, I'm about to have to put this camera away because my hands are going to be full. But I'm still, yes, thank you. You're welcome. Enjoy. Thank you so much. And just like that, I'm back in the room. Alan just took his scraps back upstairs. He moved the plate because one thing I can say, the little table here out on the balcony is tiny. But um, it worked for us yesterday. Just today we need a little more space for me to eat my lunch. Nassau. This is our view for lunch today, guys. I agree with Alan. There were a lot more seats to choose from at Marceline Market today for lunch rather than today for breakfast, where it took us, I really don't know how long it took us to find seating. I'm still like in awe about that. It took a minute. But for lunch, we could have picked, choose, and refused seats, but we didn't sit there because the boys are napping in the room. So Alan and I each took turns going to get what we wanted for lunch. But Marceline is a win in terms of selection and just the feel there. Um, it is different from Cabana's, but it has a lot of similar elements like crab claws and jumbo shrimp. So yeah, um, we definitely think you'd like Marceline Market if you're a Cabana's fan. This is what we're working with. Two napping little boys on the Disney Wish. Day three. We've steady been out here that we actually saw the Blue Lagoon Island boat leave and now we're seeing it return. I got two drinks of the day. Actually, I got the drink of yesterday and the drink of today. This is yours, babe, because I had this on the Wonder. And this one is new to me, so we'll try it. It's a margarita, but you didn't salt the top. Margarita's also have salt on top. We can, we can have it in here. We don't have to go outside. It's fine. It's up to you. Where do you want to go? Outside? The first bar that had the sunken treasure didn't have the ingredients to make the melon margarita. So I had to go to two bars. So the melon margarita is from Wheezy's Freezies. You know that's been my go-to. And the sunken treasure was from a bar in the middle of the pool deck. Yeah. It's hot. I'm gonna go wipe my face and then come have my drink. Sunken treasure is good. Oh yeah. The melon margarita was Tuesday's drink of the day. And today's Wednesday. All you have to do is ask the bar. It's not gonna be the drink of the day price, but just ask the bar if you, if you still want the drink from another day on the ship, they'll make it for you if they can, if they have the ingredients. So, melon margarita. Cheers. Mm, this is good. This is good. Ooh, this is good, you gotta taste it out. Oh, yeah. It like gets you after. <laughs> it's after, sweet. It's like a candy. After taste can put you down. It's a candy bar. It's like a watermelon Jolly Rancher in a drink. Black Bear's Revenge pulling back into port here in Nassau. This is 
one of the excursions offered here by Disney Cruise Line and other cruise lines, I believe. But definitely through Disney Cruise Line, you can book Blackbeard's Revenge Pirate Ship Excursion. Yes, we are still on the balcony, boat watching, people watching, and just having a relaxed day here on day three of our Disney Wish cruise. See what my guys are doing on this Disney Wish cruise. My guy is watching MG during the Disney Wish cruise. We are leaving Nassau and heading to Castaway Key. I'm out here on our balcony about to open this letter, this note that was on the front of the door when Alan took Landon to go get something to eat. And I'm guessing it's for our back to back. And you guys will see with me. Ooh, something's itching my foot. Yes, dear Daniel family, it is our pleasure to have you sailing with us again on the 26th of August. Woohoo! Your stateroom for the next voyage will be 6078. That is my current stateroom. We kindly request that all guests sailing on the next cruise pack all their luggage, irrespective of whether they are remaining in the same stateroom or not. Please leave your packed luggage in your current stateroom before debarking. If you are not going to be in the same stateroom, then your luggage will be transferred to your new stateroom while you are ashore. We ask that you vacate your stateroom by 8 a.m. Your stateroom will be ready to occupy by 1 p.m. So those orange cards that are mentioned here in the letter are actually, or the orange card, thought it would be more than one, but it's one, so it's for our entire stateroom. Okay, awesome. Upon completion of your cruise check-in, this boarding pass will permit all guests in your stateroom to board your Disney Cruise Line ship today. When embarkation begins, please proceed to the boarding area. We request that you provide this boarding pass and your key to the world card to the boarding representative. Welcome aboard. If you be ready for pirate fun and adventure, let me hear you shout, aye aye! Aye aye! aye. Welcome back to all funny bones. If I win, you walk the plank. Oh, oh no! Oh. I'm free! No. Oh, oh. And in the unlikely event that your crew succeeds, we get the ship back! Oh. When a captain gives you an order or asks you a question, what do you say? Take a look for your kids and see what you would order for them. Landon and Alandi are working on the puzzle about the difference in these two photos. And the adult menu is here. Pirates of the Caribbean menu. So you can look along with Alan and me, see what you would get if you were here and you know what to do. Go ahead and comment down below. Let us know what you would try. 
Or what you have tried. Good job finding the differences on your menu, Landon. Dessert. Um. Oh man, I don't know. Um, I'll do the rum soap chocolate cake. What are you eating, Landon? Cornbread. Do you like it? Where is it? I love it. You love it. I had this on the Wonder as well, and if you watch my vlog about it, I said, is it just me or does that look like Captain Me? Oh, I see. Because it has... The ears right here. Yeah. Yep. As usual, our boys have pizza, fries, veggies, and a burger fries and veggies. Crab cake appetizer for mommy and the crab cake appetizer for daddy. The crab cake is really good. I had it without the tartar sauce and now. I'll say definitely dip it in the tartar sauce. Really good. Carrot and cilantro soup. Daddy has the mango soup, which I had on the Wonder. That's just like a smoothie. Did you finish yours already? Uh, I'm finished with what I'm gonna have. I'm not a big fan of the carrot soup, the carrot um, cilantro. Give me a try though. Okay, that's good. I she gave it a try. Jerk chicken, here we go. And Landon has his Mickey bar. What did you get, Alan? She got the food that I will steal. I will take that food. It's a fillet, it's a fish fillet and all that. Another fish fillet? You've had fish like the past three nights. Huh? You also eat a lot of fish at home, too. Alan fish, Al. The fish is delicious, it's almost done. It's doing very well over here. All right, and I'm just now about to start my chicken because Mommy Judy calls and Landon needed all the chocolate removed from his Mickey bar so he could have the Mickey bar ice cream without chocolate. Go ahead, baby. Eat your Mickey bar. Enjoy it. No chocolate at all? Not even a little bit? Yummy? How is it, Landon? That's a thumbs up? <laughs> Don't bite too fast, okay? So you don't get brain. The jerk chicken is really good, but it's not authentic jerk chicken. It's just really tasty. And the um, mango or pineapple, peppery, oniony sauce that's on it, that gives it a nice little kick. Um, the rice and peas is good, but again, you know, it's cruise ship jerk chicken and rice and peas. But the best cruise ship jerk chicken and rice and peas there could be besides the authentic type. It's good. It's good. Thumbs up for the jerk chicken. Got a camera.
It's a squid. No, it's not. It's definitely something for pirate night because I see dead men tell no tales. 